Top three things this morning in my notebook, the Federal Reserve, one of my favorite topics, uh, number two, the U.S. dollar, and number three, oil. Uh, first on the Federal Reserve, it was a big central planning day yesterday, which ended, of course, with Mr. Bernanke speaking at the Keynesian Economic Clubs of, of Washington, Nodders, uh, and he said uh, basically this, the surest, path to, the surest path to a recovery is effectively for the Fed to do more. Uh, Read, they are not going to taper at the December meeting. So again, he fundamentally believes that, that he's got this nailed, and, and that's precisely why, why history is most likely going to nail him. Uh, Evans, of course, yesterday, yesterday said precisely the same thing. Ah, he doesn't feel like tapering yet. He's got to do a few more speeches, needs a few more months. Uh, but again, they're going to change the goalposts on why they're not going to taper, and then the economic data most likely is going to slow, so they'll have reason not to taper. So again, watch the Fed that you have, not the one that you want. Uh, second point, dollar, which of course uh, trades on what the Fed's going to do. Uh, since Jan Janet Yellen basically opened up her mouth. What has the dollar done? It's gone down. It's down a full percent uh, basically week over week from Wednesday to Wednesday because, of course, uh, on Wednesday the dollar started to front run Janet Yellen. Uh, so, again, look at this for what it is. It's a trend line breakdown. We talked about this yesterday. We've been talking about this for weeks and weeks and years and years. Uh, but, again, the, the Fed has a causal impact on the purchasing power of American people, uh, and they do that by devaluing the currency. So you can see this as a functional matter in the U.S. dollar index, which is, of course, American purchasing power. So you can see that the U.S. dollar index has failed at our trend line of 81.39. Uh, final point, oil, irrespective or in spite of the dollar being weak, oil has actually lost its correlation to the dollar and continues lower. So this is probably the only good thing going on currently from an economic perspective. I don't think it's enough to pick up the, pick up the puck, so to speak, in terms of getting growth to accelerate from here. 2.84% uh, U.S. GDP growth is most likely going to slow. And oil, while down at 106 on Brent this morning, is good for our short position. I don't think that that's going to give Americans the type of tax cut that they need to offset uh, this uh, resounding, actually potentially resounding, U.S. dollar weakness. So, again, those are your top three things.